Hello again, and welcome to Painter's Block. I'm your host, Anthony Ryden. I'm so thankful for you to be coming in and spending your time with us. Today, we will be going over our minute basis. Please uh, follow us, like, and subscribe, and uh, we are on YouTube, Reddit, and Facebook. Today we'll be covering our one minute base tutorial of cosmic nebulas. This is going to be really cool. I hope you enjoy. I'll be grabbing my Fairze purple. It's just any light purple that works for you. And then a burgundy. I use the Sigvald burgundy, but any type of burgundy will work. And then you can use any deep blue that's kind of watered down. I use the Stormcast one. And then a technical tesseract. It has to be like a light green uh, with a yellow tinge to it. Um, I would suggest that one. And then I use Celesta Gray, which is uh, just a great gray, but you can use any mid-tone gray. And then Titanium White. I love Titanium White. I've used it a lot. Uh, it's just a really good pure white. Otherwise, I will be using a uh, sponge, a dental sponge. brush I'm gonna be using the uh, number two brush as you can see here in just a second I'm gonna rotate this around right there number two it's a pretty good brush kind of big but has a good belly still gets a lot of fine detail I just go for one of these size bases uh, and then some clear stick foam glue this stuff is amazing and it's the secret sauce you're gonna love it but uh, just make sure to prime your base before we get started now on to base number one now we're going to grab our titanium white and we're just going to uh, wet it down. It is the consistency of like toothpaste, so uh, just make sure to get it nice and watered down. And you're going to get on your number two brush with a nice belly, and you're just going to get it watered down, and you're going to use your finger and tap it over the base. And uh, it gets a little wild, so just keep your head away, keep your eyes away, but yeah, that makes some good stars. Now we're going to get our sponge. We're just going to wipe it inside that white that we just got all wet. And just uh, don't worry about it too much. Just dab it in and then dab it on the, uh, the, the paper towel. Get it. Make sure it's not too liquidy, but it's got to be a different consistency everywhere, so it's fine. And you're just going to rotate, rotate that around as much as uh, you can without covering everything. And uh, just get that around. Make sure to let the stars dry a little bit before, but the titanium white tends to dry pretty quickly, so it's not too much of a worry. Ah, that looks pretty nice already. You can kind of see where the nebula is going to be coming in. But now we're going to grab our gray or whatever you got. I use Celesta gray, but whatever gray really works. Now, you can even mix black and white and make your own gray. But uh, here you're just going to use that sponge and that same technique, but you're going to hit all those same spots that we just hit with the white in the sponge, and you're going to go around those areas to give that more of a faded outlook of the nebula. Oh, that looks good. All right, now we're going to grab our deep blue, and we're going to start this nebula's cosmic color. It's going to look really nice. You're just going to put this around and uh, be fun about it, artistic. Just put it around randomly, not everywhere, just here and there. Around, and I'm just kind of piecing all the base together. And now I'm going to grab my burgundy. And we're going to grab those other areas and piece it in with the blue. And I'm grabbing watered down purple and I'm also going to put that in and I'm going to just put that in between the blue and the deep burgundy and it's going to give us the shift in colors and don't worry if everything's still wet you actually want it to be wet because it's going to wet blend it together easier and make a smoky appearance over these white and gray tones we've already created. On to our tesseract green just grab some of this and uh, put it around in all these little empty spaces uh, trying to not take away from all of the darkness but it's gonna show through anyways and this is gonna piece all of our purples and blues and really make everything stand out it's it looks super nice now I do apologize I put some uh, opaque or some clear texture on top of this so it did change quite a bit but uh, I will put a picture at the end and show you what it looked like now on to base number two titanium white is the first step again we're going to be making our stars now just wet down that titanium white with the number two belly and you're just going to sprinkle that around and make some stars I heat it up a little bit to make it faster because I was just a little too worried then you're gonna grab your sponge spread on the white 
and you're gonna create that nebula again. Just push it around, and then this one I'm gonna go a little different. I'm gonna make it actually cascade in one direction more so than the other. Now you can wash it by uh, just putting it in the water and dabbing it around because you don't have to worry about it being too uh, clean. Now you're gonna grab some gray, grab your, your uh, sponge, and you're just gonna put that around all the white areas that we just did now. deep blue and we're going to move it all over the base now this is going to be just like the last one so you're grabbing that burgundy the light purple the tesseract green and you're piecing it all together and this one I gotta say looks really nice already kind of separated and kept them a little bit more separated on this one I kind of enjoy it oh yeah I put some test then I put some titanium white sprinkled it back around now it's time for the secret sauce, the clear stick foam glue. Now you did notice that a lot of the color kind of went away. And this happens because we have a black base and the acrylics tend to kind of fade after they dry. Now here's the thing. Glue enhances the color again. Now look at it, it's already showing back up. Now use the titanium white, sprinkle it back on top, and that's gonna give you a layered feel to this base making it feel more three-dimensional and more like you're actually witnessing a bubble of space underneath your model. Now, just I'm just applying it, being a little generous. I did manage to mess up the corner, or the, the edge, but that's okay. Little mistakes. They're fun. Like Bob Ross says, it, it's all good. I think he says that anyways. Uh, then you're just gonna I just grab some more. I just want to sprinkle it around to cover up my mistake, and there you go. I. I, lo I love this base. It looks so nice. It's like having a piece of space nebula on my board. Ugh, I love it. That one's probably going to be my go-to. Now here is going to be a truly one minute, very, very low cost and very low uh, effort. It looks pretty nice too. So we're just going to sprinkle that titanium white all over the base again. And uh, yeah, just going to make sure it's a matte black base and uh, with white and then we're going to gloss over. Now here's where we're going to bring in, ooh, oh, that actually looks kind of good. I managed to um, not let it dry all the way, so when I put that gloss over, I smudged it and it kind of made a comet tail, so I left it alone and liked it. So now I'm just going to put that gloss over, leave it a little wet, and grab my chameleon flakes. I'll put a link down below on Amazon, but um, yeah, this stuff, you can just sprinkle this all over with that gloss and it'll lay down on top. and. It leaves a really nice like uh, color shift to appeal. It's really fun and easy. You just grab you know, like five of them in one box or six of them and you just blend the colors together, sprinkle it around, and you're good to go basically. Now here you're gonna see that I actually used my, uh, my makeup brush set that I bought from CVS and uh, to powder this on. It's because you can kind of just use this as a um, knock off whatever excess you have and then you put whatever you want on so kind of apply the same logic to this base and uh, you know, just apply it generously it's a uh, it's just space nebula and you're using color shifting uh, chameleon flakes to kind of carry you through but yeah that looks pretty cool already yeah that, and that took maybe less than a minute that's really nice uh, maybe I'll do that on some smaller guys that looks pretty good yep that gets an A for approval. And so spending your time here with us on Painter's Block, here's our finished product. And uh, as you can see, this is the one that uh, kind of messed up a bit with the uh, texture paste, but I kind of liked it too. It made it like a foggy appearance. But um, I'd say my favorite was probably the second one. The uh, This is the third one that was actually really fun and uh, you know easy. Kind of just, uh, you can do this on a bunch of people, take you like a minute each, less than. But uh, thank you for coming to the Painter's Block and uh, I hope you enjoyed your time here and that you learned something. Uh, please come again. We'll be releasing one of these uh, minute basing videos every week and uh, just to help you get onto the board and into your tournaments.
have a great time and uh, hope we helped you break your painter's block.